Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is day 19 of daily CGI. Uh, I followed a tutorial that was way too old uh, for its own good. It was from pre uh, 2.8 Blender and um, right now I'm using 3.4.1 and for the first time I came across about 40 to 50 minutes into the tutorial uh, features that actually no longer exist in Blender whatsoever. So it kind of... <laughs> It kind of messed up my evening in terms of study, so I just kind of bailed at that point, and um, I'm going to phone it in for the night, but uh, I'll show you a few. Uh, I don't show all of these, but I like to take real-world objects or products and just put them into Blender using real measurements and dimensions that you can find online, just as practice. Practice with all this stuff. So, well, I think this one was a real product. It may not have been... But maybe I was just practicing. This has got to be real, right? There's too much detail for it to be mine at this point. Well, kind of. Um, yeah, anyway, I'd like to recreate these old school lights. Um, I think with these ones, I was just trying out the emission shader. Um, just seeing how that differs from like sort of in-scene lighting and everything. And... Um, so there's a few, that's an experiment from that. Um, what's this one? This one is a Ikea glass cabinet. This is always a popular product. I don't know if they still sell it, but they did for many, many years. It's got a glass, uh, it's got a door on the front with a little metal tab. Um, it's got the top. I forgot. I, I'm always forgetting little bits and pieces. Um, this light on the top here is obviously it hasn't got a wire currently, and also there's no hole in the top for the light to actually screw into. I think you have to screw it into and tighten it from the top underneath. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like it's one to one in terms of like dimensions. It's just not all there. Um, but I thought this looked pretty good. I don't think it takes any real skill to uh, plug the numbers and um, create the shelving and the doors and put it all together, but I, I certainly find it fun. <laughs> uh, don't save. Here's another IKEA cabinet. Let's have a look. Not, not that well lit, is it? But uh, you can see there's a bit of a reflection on the front from the glass. We'll just move that out of the way. That's good for create. Yeah, again, I mean, literally, the most useful thing that this would be for is um, if you're considering buying certain IKEA furniture, you could recreate the uh, your house or the room that you're planning on putting the furniture into, plug the dimensions, and then um, a get an accurate representation of the size of the product. Um, it'll be in scale with the digital room you've created, and b See if it's going to fit through, like, the doors and stuff. <laughs> um, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's such a disappointing day, but I was so dejected after failing that tutorial. Um, or that tutorial fail failing me, really. And I'm not going to use go back and use old Blender. It doesn't make sense at this point. Um, I guess the only other thing to mention is that I started also reading Disney Animation, The Illusion of Life, which is, like, a mega huge tome that people love it's been out for so many years now and uh it's several hundred pages of just the history of disney the fundamentals of animation um the progression from the noodle arms in the early days of mickey mouse all the way through to like uh what is it like the golden age of disney and whatnot uh, it's just fantastic uh, it is interesting to hear that Walt Disney never liked repeating himself in terms of doing the same thing twice. So I imagine Walt Disney would be at odds with the current company that uh, we see in 2023. I know uh, all these sequels and live action films, a lot of them seem very unjustified. I mean, it keeps... 
it keeps people in uh, you know working for the company it gives people work it generates an income so from that perspective uh, you can respect it but I just wish that there was a, a bit more originality and creativity instead of rehashing old ideas um, because I find that the old classic animation from Disney um, I mean what kid isn't going to love or appreciate the hand-drawn animation style from all those years ago it just still just looks so wonderful um why do you need a live action version of the same film it just seems like they're oversaturating their own market there i don't know uh just a few thoughts uh anything else uh the only other thing there's even more art books that I find uh, pretty cool. Disney, they drew as they pleased. The Hidden Art of Disney's Golden Age. And that covers, uh, there's a couple of different books that cover like, say, the 30s and the 40s, etc. Different decades, different eras at Disney. Uh, and then one that's really hard to get. Um, it's a really old book. A sketchbook by Albert Herter. 700 of his inspirational drawings created for the Walt Disney Studio. It's called He Drew As He Pleased. So more Disney-style um, artwork there. So I thought that was a pretty good one. But yeah, I end this video in disappointment. I will hopefully find another tutorial to follow along to and um, get back at it tomorrow. Have a good one, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.